In this video, we're going to talk about how we can actually go about estimating sigma squared when we're talking about the matrix formulation of econometrics. So why are we interested in sigma squared? Well, we showed previously that the variance of least squares estimators, so the variance of our estimated um, coefficient vector beta hat least squares, given that we know the independent variables x, the, the matrix of our independent variables x, we found that that was just equal to sigma squared times x primed x all to the power minus 1. So this is the exact variance of least squares estimators. But in the majority of circumstances, we don't actually know sigma squared, so we actually have to come up with an estimate of sigma squared, which I'm going to write as sigma hat squared. And that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about how we can actually come up with an estimate of sigma hat squared. So how might you go ahead and estimate sigma squared if you're just sort of thinking about things quite naively? Well, if you imagine that we're taking the expected value of our residuals, u hat primed times u hat, then essentially what this means is, because remember that the residuals are themselves, it's going to be an n by 1 vector, which means that this u hat primed is going to be a 1 by n vector, and this is going to be an n by 1 vector, which when you multiply them together, you're going to get a 1 by 1. So you're going to get a scalar out. So that sounds about right. But what exactly are we doing here? Well, what we're doing is we're taking the expected value of, well, first of all, the residual vector um, transposed. So that's just going to be u hat 1. And then the next component is going to be u hat 2, all the way through to u hat n. And then we're multiplying that by the original uh, residual vector, which is u hat 1 all the way through to u hat n. So we're taking the expectation of that whole thing, but I hope you can see that essentially what we're going to get here is we're going to get a sum of these square residuals because the first term is going to be that, the second term is going to be u hat 2 times u hat 2, and then the final term is going to be u hat n times u hat n. So essentially what we're going to have here is we're going to have the expected value of the sum from i equals 1 to n of u hat i all squared. And because there aren't going to be any sort of cross terms here because we're assuming that they're independent, this should just mean that we're going to have that the expectation of u hat primed times u hat is equal to the sum from i equals 1 to n of the expected value of u hat i all squared. And naively, you might think that since each of these expectations should contribute sigma squared, that we'll just get here n sigma squared, which would mean that a good estimator for the um, parameter sigma squared would be to say, well, let's take 1 over n times the um, u hat prime times u hat, and that will be our estimator for sigma squared. So we're going to call that sigma hat squared. But actually, you would be wrong to think that this was an unbiased estimator of sigma squared. There's something which we've done wrong in going from here to here, essentially. And we're going to talk about what we've done wrong in the next few videos and how we can actually estimate sigma squared um, more appropriately, or we can provide an unbiased estimator for sigma squared.